Hi, and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. Today, we're going to dig into the world of Fairlight and show you how to do auto ducking. So stand by and we will be right back. What is auto ducking? It is the system's ability to lower the volume of a track based on the volume of another track. So here, like in this example, Hi, this is Kerry, and I want the music is just overwhelming to the vocals. And if we wanted to fade it out, we could come in here and add frame or, you know, key points and reduce the volume and, and that's fine. And there's, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way and pulling that down. So it fades out and hi this is carrie and so there, there's nothing wrong with that and on a simple clip that is probably the easiest way of doing it is just create some key points pull the volume down and call it a day but if you have a big production and you have a lot of clips and you want the music to come in and you want it to come out and uh, it can be very tedious to sit there and do that especially with a bunch of different music tracks. So uh, there's a very simple way of doing it within Fairlight. So I've got the footage here. I'm gonna go into the Fairlight page and I'm gonna select the music track first. So that's the bottom one and that is audio two. And I'm gonna double click in this box that says dynamics. It's gonna bring up this box and I'm gonna click on listen. So I want it to listen to another track and I'll go to the voice track and that's audio one. So I'll double click in dynamics and I'm gonna click on send. So pretty straightforward. The vocal track is sending, the music track is listening. So we'll go back in and we'll double click on dynamics so we can bring this up. And what do we want it to do while it's listening? So. I'm going to turn on the compressor so we can lower the volume and um, see how it goes. So let's give this a quick play and see where it's at with my settings. Hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk to you about a scam that's going. Okay, so it did lower the volume, but during my pauses of speaking, the music came back up because it wasn't holding on to it long enough. So. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to crank up the hold all the way and let's go back and play this. Hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk to you about a scam that's going around right now. So pretty straightforward and we can adjust the thresholds. So if I want it to be a little louder, I'll bring up the threshold. Hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk to you. And you can do these real time. So I'll go back and hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk how much of the ratio. I want to bring up more. Right now. I want to and drop it off I'm more. Give you the information to recognize it so that you can avoid it and keep yourself from getting ripped off. How hard do I want it to come in and hit it? So let's try cranking that all the way up. Hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk to you about. Let's turn our ratio back down and try that again. Hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk to you about the scam that's going around right now. And I'm going to give you the information to recognize it so that you turn the ratio the wrong way and didn't really mix much out. Hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk to you. So you can keep playing with the thresholds and the ratios to get the the music volume right where you want. Hi, this is Carrie, and I want to talk to you. And then you may need to play around with the attack as to how aggressive you want it to cut that music, how long you want it to kind of wait in pauses, and after it comes back, how long before it releases it. So pretty simple controls here on getting this set up. So this is in, uh, I believe this came out in 15, 
maybe it was in the original 15.0. I'm using 15.2. It works really well. So just remember that the one that you want it to be the master is going to be doing the send. And the one that you're going to be automatically adjusting is going to listen. And then just play around with these controls to get the audio sounding the way you want. So pretty simple. This is, uh, like I said, Fairlight is a very powerful engine. And this is just one very simple thing that you can do to make your audio and video production a little smoother with DaVinci Resolve. So I hope this helps out some people and thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos come out. And we are going to be having some very cool giveaways coming up. So stay tuned for all that. Thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. Each and every one of you uh, means a lot that you guys have subscribed and listened and you, you give me feedback all the time. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.